Mm. Mm. Stupid child safety proof crops. Ow. That hurt. Why did they do this? I mean, these are Flintstones chewables. They're made for kids. Oh, not that I take kids vitamins or anything. Welcome to night number nine of our 11 nights of Halloween. Taking pills, as gross as they may be, is sometimes a necessity. I really need to take my vitamins. For the guy in tonight's story, taking his pills becomes an obsession. Six months ago, I began to get these blinding headaches accompanied with flashes of light. I thought maybe I was getting stress headaches or even migraines. Nothing over the counter would work to get rid of them. I was speaking with my therapist about my job stress during one of our sessions, when one of those headaches started up again. He must have noticed me frantically rubbing my eyes and temples, because he reached into his desk drawer and handed me two brightly colored capsules from a blue pill bottle. A sip of water and a quick swallow of the pills, and my migraine went away. Thank you, Doc. Uh, how much do I owe you for the pills? He told me that they were free. He wouldn't charge me for them, as long as I only came to him for them whenever I felt the headache start up again. That night I slept so peacefully. Months of blinding headaches seemed to vanish almost instantly with those two capsules. I woke up the next morning feeling fantastic. I began my usual commute to work, only to be stuck in gridlock traffic due to some road construction. I took a deep breath while keeping my eye on the clock on my dashboard. I gave myself plenty of time to get to work, but if the traffic didn't start moving soon, I knew I would be cutting it awful close. Needless to say, I arrived at work a full 15 minutes past my starting time. There was a meeting in the boardroom with the sales team, and by the time I opened the double oak doors, my boss was in my face and shutting the doors behind him, just so he could chew me out. The longer he stood there flapping his jaw, the more acutely aware I was of another migraine rearing its ugly head. I threw up on my boss's shoes, which I can't say I felt even remotely bad about, before excusing myself to the restroom. A quick call to my therapist, and I was in an emergency session 45 minutes later. Again he reached into his desk and handed me two more pills along with a glass of ice cold water. The headache was gone before I even finished drinking. I thanked him profusely and went home. I called my boss from the house phone and said I would be taking the rest of the day off for medical reasons. I laid down on the couch and shut my eyes. Perhaps a bit more sleep was needed. By the time I opened my eyes, it was well after midnight and my stomach was growling. I hadn't eaten all day and since there was nothing in my fridge, a trip to the gas station was going to have to do. I completely scalded my tongue on a few microwave burritos from eating them too fast, and then went back to bed. My alarm clock hadn't even gone off when I screamed at the top of my lungs in complete agony over the headache that was pounding deep inside my brain. I called off work and raced over to my therapist's office, hoping he'd see me. He once again handed me two pills which I swallowed dry. I begged him to give me the entire bottle but he refused. It's not like I'm an addict or anything. He told me it wasn't about me becoming addicted to them. I pressed him again to give me the bottle. I'm very sick. I can't keep waiting to take them, I told him. Why don't you just write me a prescription? He told me there was no need, that I was basically cured, and that I just needed to trust myself more. I stared long and hard at the partially open desk drawer where the pills were kept. And then I noticed the letter opener. I didn't mean to kill him, but I need these pills to get better. Placebo, they're called. I've never heard of these before. Well, whatever they are, they work. My headache is completely gone. For now.